All right, so here's the circuit that I drew up, delay on relay circuit. So if you have a circuit where you want a light to be delayed before it comes on, this is what you're looking for. You have 12 volts going through a switch, which would activate the circuit, going through a 4001 diode, which is not really necessary because you do have a switch, and when this capacitor charges, it cannot go backwards once the switch is open. But it's not going to hurt to leave it. Flows through the diode, in through a 47K, which slowly charges this capacitor up. So it's going to take time to charge this capacitor. This is where the delay on comes in. So as it slowly charges this capacitor up, it then, once the capacitor charges, will, will go through the 20K resistor into the base of the transistor, turning it on, allowing the current to flow through the relay coil to ground you can adjust the duration of how long it takes to delay on by increasing the value. You can put a 1000 microfarad in place of a 470 and you'll have a little more than double the time that it takes to have the circuit come on once it's initially triggered. So say you get into your car and you don't want to have the light come on right away when the door opens for privacy reasons so what you would do is you would set this for maybe like six seconds before a light would come on. So if you do want the light to come on, you would open your car door slowly and wait a few extra seconds and then your interior light would come on and you could see what's inside your car before you close the door. But there are a lot of people that prefer not to have their interior light come on when they open the door. So this would be a handy circuit for that. So what you would do is you'd open your car door and if you open the car door quickly just like you're going to routinely open it and get in then the light will not come on which is better than having the circuit turned off from inside the car because a lot of people will deactivate the circuit from the dashboard so when you open and close the doors it will not come on so with this circuit you can have it not come on but if you wait long enough your interior lights will come on which is handy so you would open your car door you would enter quickly and close the door and the light would not come on. But if you want to put groceries and stuff into your car, you would open the door, leave it open, and then after the duration has passed, the interior lights will come on, set by the value of the capacitor. You can also play with the value of the resistor, the 47K, which adjusts how much current, how fast it flows in to charge the capacitor but I would prefer leaving that and just adjusting the values of the capacitors. The back EMF diode which protects the transistor from being blown could be a 14003 all the way up to a 4007. Some people were successful with smaller ones, 4001s and 4002s, but I prefer to use a 403 and higher. The relay contacts, you have a common and a normally open and those are the contacts that would feed your light so you'd have 12 volt battery power going into the common terminal which is here the normally open terminal would feed to your lights simple circuit and many uses for it the purpose of the 150k resistor is to drain down the capacitor after the circuit has been deactivated this way the next time you activate the circuit there's no residual charge left over in the capacitor. You'll have the full duration before the circuit will trigger. Okay, here's a little demonstration of how the circuit's going to operate. Here's a 12 volt relay. My continuity alarm is set on my DMM. When the contacts close, you'll know. You'll hear it. It'll register over here. I have a 12.5 volt power supply supplying the circuit. There's all the components as shown in the schematic. To demonstrate I'm going to use a 470 microfarad first. So you'll see that once the circuit is triggered by a switch or anything else it's going to take a set time before the relay triggers allowing the lights or whatever else you want to control to activate. So I'm going to do this and this one is set for about 12 seconds.
There you go. It's now set. Alarm is running and the relay's on. So to vary the time that you would require, the best way to do that would be with the value of the electrolytic capacitor. So I'm going to remove that one. And now I'm going to put in a 1000. I am now going to activate the circuit just like you're turning on a light switch and we're going to see how long it takes the light to actually come on. This one is roughly 30 seconds. There you go. Relay just activated. Alarm's going. So as you can see, the value of the capacitor, the, the higher the value, the longer it takes to charge that capacitor before it dumps the charge into the base of the transistor.